Hey everybody and welcome back! My name is Tsuki and this is Night in the Woods. The previous night, uh, we hanged out with Bia and had a wonderful time. God is a fish head, did you know that? So we came home and it's dream time and we're here in a dark place again. Awfully floaty. <sighs> super floaty, super high jumpy dream world. Oh god, that's terrifying. Am I going the right way? I don't want to go the right way. What's over here? More demon lanterns? Hi, who are you? Strange figure. Yes, demon light. I hear you. Okay. Yes, demon birds. Oh! <laughs> There's the constellations in the background. I wish those actually gave off light though. And there's the other constellation. <laughs> huh. That's some sweet music, man. Oh, we need one more. Ah, I see. Wait, did we come here already? No. <laughs> That's spooky. Um weird I want you guys to focus on her feet this time. There's two shoes on the floor, and this has been happening every single night I woke up. You'll see that she's she has like two shoes on her feet while one shoe is still on the floor. You see? Right there. Anyway, let's say hello. Morning. I'm working today. Angus is out of town and I'm lonely. Okay, bye. Sincerely, Gregory. Well, I guess what we know what we gotta do then. We gotta go see our boy, Gregory. He shall not be alone. It's against the law. Hopefully this is open now? Dad! You failed me for the last time. Hello, bird. What are you even thinking about in there? 
probably like, oh god, I wish I could get out. Good morning, mom. Good morning, did you feel it last night? What? There was a big sinkhole two streets over. Oh god. Oh, are we still getting those? I don't think those ever really go away. Swampy ground and so forth and on a flat plane. Oh, weird. I don't want you over there nosing around it. I guarantee you I won't. I have seen sinkholes. No interest at all? Mom, they're just a hole in the ground. Get back to me when one like swallows a house or something. We'll go see together if that happens. Deal. So, what did you do last night? Went to the mall with Bia. Oh, Fort Lucene? Yeah. I haven't been there in years. How is it? Kind of falling apart and empty. Yeah, I expect. Everyone just goes to the outlet stores up by the interstate now. For, you know, shoes and things. Well, stop by the church if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya. Mm-hmm. Bye, sweetie. Now that you've been home for a few days, yeah? Have you thought about getting a j Well, gotta go, Mom. Hehe. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. Quickly run! Enjoy your freedom for now. We all have to get a job. Oh. It's cool now. I thought you guys were done. Oh, yo. May Borowski. Selmers. Now we all know how important it is to look our best. What? Our appearance is the first and sometimes last impression we make. Selmers, did you join a cult? Lucky for you, I happen to be a licensed dealer. Oh, okay. Of the Sylvan family of products. Selmers, I don't have any money. Oh, okay. Are you giving that pitch to everyone? Have you sold anything yet? Sold some to my mom and to Abby Grangler. Mrs. Grangler's daughter? Granddaughter. I ran into her at the laundromat over by the school. One time Greg got locked inside one of the tumble dryers. Did he die? He wanted me to start it but I chickened out. He definitely would have died. <laughs> Tell him that. He's still mad. Want to hear a poem? Nah, yeah sure. Sometimes, I think, and start to sing. Oh no, there's more, sorry. Then I remember, it's October. October? I combined my two favorite months. Fall is really nice. It's the best. Days are gonna start getting shorter soon. It makes me sad. I like it. I love the fall but hate the dark. I like it. You sure do. I seen a raccoon. Where? Up in town towny sentry. He's bigger. Cool. Guess who's on your property, old man? My cat don't like folks on the porch. Do you ever do anything but not sit there? It's really leafy. Again, this doesn't happen over here. We have full, completely annual trees, like, all around. Let's check if something's new and down here, and then we'll go up to the church. What? I can't believe they've kept this open. Historical note, I guess. I think it's just because the old people like the pierogi stand. Never underestimate the ability of old people to get state funding. <laughs> Can I steal one yet? Come on, take one. Anything weird happening over here? Oh. Rainy day, huh? But not down here. 
You kids have your own little secret hideout down here, huh? Pfft. Whatever. When I was a kid, literally nobody cares. Well, whatever. Okay then. Jeez. Amazing to think these things used to run. Oh. Kind of amazing they're still down here too. No way to get them out of here, I guess. This place sure was something a long time ago. I need to Google what a pierogi is, because I'm not sure. Let's go up to the church and check what's up. And then over, head over to Greggy Boy. Ooh. It's pretty. Yeah, spooky. First Coalition's Church, Pastor KW Young, Sunday services, all are welcome. Bingo. Trans Forum Youth Ministry. Interesting. Go to the church in a sec. Oh. Um. Hello. So you're more of a drifter. Yeah, but it's temporary. Of course, well, we just wanted to see if you're okay up here. Yeah, Pastor Kate has been very kind. Mind if we see your setup here? What do you think, Molly? Uh, uh, it's fine. Haha, <laughs> alright, Bruce. Yeah? How are you finding Possum Springs? Nice place, nice people. How long you been in town, Bruce? I've been here for a while now. And I was here before, back in the 70s. They were looking for miners, at least for a while. Got a whole thing going here, Bruce. Yep. Pretty impressive. Um, thanks. Well, we sure appreciate you talking to us, Bruce. It was really great to meet you. Yep, likewise. Alright, troops, let's move on. Thanks again, Bruce. Thanks, Bruce. No trouble. Um, what was that about? Hello, I'm May Borowski. Hey, I'm Bruce. I don't say much. That's fine. I talk a lot. But I can, like, not. So, what was this about? Do they have an issue with the guy setting up shop? I always wanted to climb the water tower, but then that one kid died doing that. Whatever, I'll get to it. Probably see clear to mid brittle from here. The music's stopping. It's a little spooky. I probably don't want to jump down there, do I? Let's do it. Oh, I can't. Can't get on that. And jump on the rock. Nope. Alright then. Nothing interesting back here. Except that weird thing that happened with Greg. And the graveyard. Pretty trees, I guess. Ooh. Big squares doors oh hey mom hey sweetie how did you get here when the stairs were broken I completely forgot where the sanctuary is um you passed the door on your way here oh I thought those were locked they're locked sometimes all doors are locked sometimes not like saloon doors cowboys just walk in and out that's very rude <laughs> the old west was very rude time Howdy, partner. 
I say, I say, this is powerful rude. That's like a southern gentleman. He's classing the place up. Tarnation. Okay, mom, no more cowboy talk for you. Dad, give it. I gotta get back to work, sweetie. Love you. All right, mom. No. Okay. So what do you do? Just kind of. Oh, is this what they call sanctuary? Love, peace, joy. Hello. Hello. You're Candy's daughter, right? Yep. Who are you? Kate, but most people call me Pastor K. You're new here, right? 16 months? Something like that. Oh. New to me, at least. Hello. 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 Do me a favor. Take that last hello and give it to Bruce. Oh yeah, I met that guy. Oh good. Bruce is new to our community. Looks like he's been in the woods a while. Only a few weeks. But being in the woods isn't really the same as being in the community. True. Is he cold at night? Haha, <laughs> working on it. Pastor K. <laughs> hey again. Hey. Your mom will be pretty happy you're here. Oh, don't I know it. You're not a churchgoer? I was when I was a kid. Well, you had to go then. Yeah. I liked Sunday school. They'd give you cookies and orange drink. Is orange drink really the only name for it? Huh. I don't know. I'm realizing I've also been calling it that my entire life. Orange drink. The drink that is orange. When did you stop coming? When my mom stopped making me. When I was like 15 or so. Why? I don't know. All the sitting and standing, seeing this now, feel this thing now. Well, the feelings are more suggestions. It doesn't feel like it. <laughs> well, I hope you'll maybe come some Sunday. Yeah, I guess I haven't seen you preach. Oh, wow. Preach. Kind of has a bad ring to it, huh? Talk? That works. Hey, listen. You know, if you ever want to talk or have any questions about, like, God, sure. You can always talk to me. It's kind of in my job description. Okay. That's the exact same reason I stopped going to church, because it was an obligation, not something that you had to do out of your own volition or because you wanted to. It was an obligation. And that was probably the number one thing that turned me off to the whole religion thing. That was before I found out, like, the atrocities that was committed. But whatever. We're not going to get into that. The idea behind religion is to do good. And as long as there are still people doing good in the name of religion, then I'm fine with it being there. There were boxes blocking this the other time. Let's see how far we can get. This guy's head is gone. Hey, get down from there. No. Are you mad that this guy's head is gone? Can we drop on there? No, you can't. Are they gonna call the police? That would be funny. Hey, Gramps! Just jumping because it's faster. Oh, there's a dog. Nuke Possum Springs. <laughs> wow. Hello. Salutations. Greetings. Genius. You're dumb. Oh my god. Shirlene, I love you. Goat Lung. Hey, there's somebody up there. Can I make that? Let's see. Oh. Ooh, spooky. Where the hell am I? Wow, so this is where this stuff ended up. 
I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. Until the year that Mallard P. Blue Mingro snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. Then they cancelled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. There's not been like a lot of tragedies in this little town. Jeez. After the parade got canned, there wasn't much going on in the spring. But we still did the Easter basket dressings at church. And ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those. <laughs> Profane pretzels. Also the name of, my, name of my indie punk band. Oops. Oh my god, these flowers are fake as hell. Mallard deserves a better memorial. It's locked. What the hell? That's a fire hazard. It literally is. Oh my god. Mallard! What have they done to you? Mallard P. Bloomeringo. One of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the spring parade flo floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. Mallard, dear dead Mallard. You were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big, beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still amazing forever. Oh, Mallard. Probably lived here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten. But I found you. And I know you're here. And still a springtime terror. I'll keep you a secret, Mallard. But I'll visit. Mallard, you're pregnant. <laughs> it's one of those God things. Like when you have a baby because God? Holy crap, you are the cutest vermin. Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're um, not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die. Oh, sorry. There goes Squeaky. Aren't cats supposed to... Can I pick you up? No, I can't. There isn't anything else. Uh, uh, anything else? Unfortunately not. No, seriously. Is this thing as clear mark as something it's not? I'm coming back for you, Exodor, and we're gonna have a little chat with my boot. Worst exit easily. Okay, so is there a way for us to get up? Because I'm going to try and do a triple jump over there. Ah, I was... Oh. That was badly timed, but I guess I can salvage it. I was over this way. Not much. Up. Oh. Up. Oh, that was the wrong time to do the double jump. Two, three. Nope. Two. One, two, three. There you go. All right. Let's see if we can make it up there. Oh. I think these are supposed to be weather stations. Pioneer Scouts made them when they weren't playing football <laughs> or learning about manhood. These are the manliest of miniature windmills for sure. <laughs> God. I'm a cat. I run around on power lines. Oh. I should probably try and do a... A double jump to get over there, huh? There's a hole in the roof. Can I do something here? No. Oh, come on! Oh, 
Oh, come on. Oh, I made it. Third time's the charm. One, two, no. One, two, three. There you go. Hey. 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 Gonna sit if that's cool. It's cool. Jeez. What you doing? Drawing. Okay, what you drawing? You know how in a movie, I like a knife will go through someone's eye. <laughs> oh boy, do I ever. I'm like designing an effect and makeup for that. Okay. I'm working on a horror movie. That's so rad. Okay, maybe I'm not making it yet. But I mean, someday I could like direct it and write it and do the makeup. I have a really good screen too. Really? Uh, I wanted to like go to a horror movie school. Do I have those? Yeah. I already know how to make the fake blood and body parts. Sorry, it's probably boring. How in the world could that possibly be boring? I know like all of them. Body parts? Horror movies. Everyone? A lot of them. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I gotta go. See ya. Later. All right. Rip. Uh, can I make it up there? Can I have to like hook to? No. I'm the worst. I wanna go up all the way to the toppy top. Hopefully not get struck by lightning. One, two, three. Oh, you can actually jump on the bucket. I did not know that. I am the world's dumbest man. So that's one way. Hey, there's a kitty cat. Meow. I am so very high up. Woo. Oh. All right, well, that's that, I guess. Guess we can go check up on Greg then. It looks so sad and empty when we're not playing in it. <laughs> I should probably go in there more, but... Out of all of them, Ag Angus is probably the most boring for me. <laughs> no offense to those who like him. Of course. You always look so stunned when I walk in. Hey, nerd. Hey, hey, May, May. Totally, what's up, dude? I was thinking about going to jail. <laughs> like you're planning on going? I think I could break out. Maybe I should, like, test my skills of escape. I feel like this risk is better than any possible reward. Yeah. What brought this up? I had a nightmare about going to jail. My cousin went to jail. My other cousin, Jen, said it was inevitable. Oh, man, you're not inevitable. I mean, it's not inevitable. No, go back. I am definitely inevitable. The inevitable Greg. <laughs> Is Angus around today? No, you idiot. He said he's out of town. You forget already. What stuff? Eh, family stuff. They're not worth talking about. Sheesh. You wanna hang out? Yeah, man, let's roll. Damn straight. Mechanics. I'm gonna finish this off and then end the episode. It's already like 29 minutes, but you know, whatever. The bullet went clean through. Yeah, I see. You can still see the bullet hole in it. How did that not kill him? It must have missed all the important parts of the brain. Wow. Yeah, great, great granddad was pretty tough. But isn't that the, the helmet the fascists were wearing? Ugh, no, wrong war. And wrong country. These weren't the bad guys. Read some history. Jeez, okay. When did you learn all this stuff? when people kept saying it was a fascist hat. So, what are we doing? You up for a crime? Boy, am I ever. 
I mean, I kind of did some last night. Oh, really? Without me? Oh, dude. You're always my number one crime friend. That's beautiful, dude. Likewise. So, what's the plan? Follow me. Yes, dear leader. I am both a leader and a deer. <laughs> Rain sure cleared up. I have a baseball bat again. Weather moves for us. So, what do I need the bat for? Ta-da! Ooh la la. If that car, I'll private Borowski. So... You brought me out here to watch me beat up a car. Is this like that thing where people are all hot for car crashes? No, and I don't know that movie. Look it up. Eh. So we need the battery out of this car. What for? That's privileged info, private. Stop calling me private. I ain't in your army. I'm a general, at least. No, I'm the general. I got a hat. War stupid. Watch it, war got me this hat. Okay, but what if someone needs this car? I think it's safe to say no one's gonna miss it. Yeah, I guess it's got a tree growing through it. Hmm. So, we're just beating it until the hood pops open? Yeah, just smash it up. Smash it all up. Smash capitalism. Smash the government. Smash this car. Yeah! Your time has come, car. <laughs> Say your prayers. Excellent work. Thank you. I agree. You want to do the honors? Am I going to get electrocuted? Should be fine. The car's got a tree growing through it. Probably not electric anymore. Wait, but... Do you want to do it or not? I do. Okay, so just grab one of the wires and yank it off. Thanks, I think I can figure it out. Let's get the... Eh. Eh. Ah! <laughs> Whoa. Can battery shock you that bad? Hey, Sharkle. What are you doing here? You've always been a good friend, man. We've been through so much together, man. The good times, the bad times. The porn adware fiasco. That weekend you tried to change the operating system. You're right, we have been through a lot together. Sharkle, am I dead? Yes. No. Yes. Are you here to take me to the other side? Yes, as in the old legends. Your soul has been weighed against your transgressions. Oh, how did that turn out? Tonight you shall join your ancestors in the stars. Uh, could I have gone better? Tonight you shall join your ancestors in the stars. Oh, that's night. Yes, yes, it is night. So like, all of my ancestors? Yes, all of them. Like, back to the fishes and dinosaurs? Because evolution? Yes, probably. That's neat. <laughs> what? Ha ha ha. Dude. Ugh. Oh shit. You okay? No. How long was I out? Like five seconds? Oh, weird. Time like stretches. It's a mysterious universe. We good to go with the battery? You know it. Let's get back to the apartment. I taste pennies. Yeah, that happens when you get electrocuted. And anyway, even if it was a fascist helmet, it's got an anar anarchy symbol on it now, which makes it good. And there's a bullet hole in it, so whoever was wearing it is dead. And I'm like wearing the trophy. So you admit that's a fascist helmet? No, I don't. Uh, okay. So, what are we doing? Okay, so... Wait, question. Shoot. What the hell is that? The thing? Yes, obviously the thing. Remember those big, like, robot cartoon characters? They used to have at the food on here. I do. Oh my god. Is that one of them? Are we gonna put one together? Dude, we totally are. This is amazing. 
Where the hell did you get it? You know, Steve Scriggins. The guy who locked the substitute teacher in the supply closet. The guy who drove little circles around people in the school parking lot. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Dude, he was stuck in there over longest tight break. Survived by eating glue and Spanish workbook. Steve Scriggins gave you this? Yeah, that guy. It's horrible, man. But he's been hanging out the food donkey since it's been shut down. And he dug it out for me. That is the first useful thing Steve has ever done. Okay, 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 okay. What do we do? We need to get this old battery into that old thing. Okay, well, this sounds straightforward enough. Kinda. It's full of garbage. It's too bad you didn't cut yourself on it and get a disease. It's too bad you didn't die on the way here. It's too bad the robot wasn't filled with angry snakes and they killed you. It's too bad the elevator didn't fall and squash you like a pancake. Oh, dude, that's a phobia. That's one that makes sense, at least. What were we doing again? <laughs> Ugh, this thing smells. That's just how old machines smell. No, like, I think something was living in here. Hey. <laughs> I've got an idea. Why don't you stop being so negative? <laughs> Why don't you eat your own neck? That's impossible. Be serious. <laughs> this is serious business. Oh, well. Well, don't mind me. See, I've already died once tonight. No big deal or anything. What was it like? I can't taste my tooth <laughs> And it's like they're ringing? Ringing. <laughs> like little bells. Inside my skull. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Clamp it. Ugh. Those things sometimes spark. Jeez. That looks safe. Are you gonna be all boring now? Just because you died for like a whole five seconds? Dude. Come on. Some people have been dead like forever. Do you see them whining? Um, right. They either shut up and deal, or they become ghosts. Are you saying I should become a ghost? Yeah. Carpe diem. Carpe diem sounds like a fish. A fish tell you to live your damn life. Okay, fine. What are we doing? Now is the best part. We are going to put this beast together. Do you know how it goes together? Going to find out. Cool. Bang. Sorry. Cool. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I like him freaking out. Oh, Lord. Here are all the parts. Wow, so many possible combinations. We can create our own unique metal offspring. So we just clank these together? Yeah, slap them together, tighten some screws. What could go wrong? I mean, quite a lot. A lot of times stuff goes wrong. Dude, you are no fun. I literally just died. Oh. I have no idea what to do. I assume these are for... Really? Hmm. What's this? Oh, I can't put this anywhere. That's not scary at all. Okay, so I assume... What type of feet do we want to give him? Those are weird. Oh, those can go in any place. Let's give him proper footsies. Which means this one should probably come off. Alright, fine. Oop. 
Yes, that's a hand. Let's make something at least resembling. What's this? Hi. Oh god. He's beautiful. He's perfect. Our beautiful boy. Our robot son. I didn't know that that finished it because I'm not done. So like, this is pretty great and all, but remind me, why don't we just put a bunch of garbage together in your living room and connect it to a stolen car battery that's like leaking acid on the carpet, I think. I don't know. Since you've been back in town, I think I missed Greg of a few years ago. Hmm? Like these days, I mostly work all the time, but why are you working so much? We got plans. What plans? Bright Harbor. Bright Harbor? Since when? A year or so now. That's why we're working like seven days a week. But when are you moving? I think in the spring? That's like a few months away. Yeah. Oh, okay. You should come visit when we get settled in. Isn't Bright Harbor like really expensive? Not if you live in a terrible neighborhood. Oh my, it's so cool. We visited in the summer. There's like record stores and weird bars and everyone's cool and like free. Oh, that's where I got my tattoo. What? Yeah. It's a sheep. Yep. Why a sheep? The tattoo guy was like all the way hot and it didn't even hurt. You have a tattoo. You're moving to Bright Harbor. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, anyway. Yeah, like I was saying, now that you're back in Possum Springs, I was like, hey, let's do some crimes again. Oh, dude. Yep. So I was thinking about how to use that for, like, good. So I thought I'd bring this here for Angus. That's beautiful, dude. I'm sure he'll love it. I hope so. Okay, so. Yeah, all we need to do now is turn it on. Ooh, ooh. I want to push the button. Let me push the button. Let me do it. Dude, it's the least I could do for my best friend back from the dead. It's a party next time I die and come back. Dude, that's such a deal. Sweet. Oh, God. The sides smell even worse. Hope whatever was living here in this hole. Okay, I think I see it. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Okay, I'm glad you and Angus have this whole, like life together thanks dude we've worked hard that's sweet push it push it push it push it okay 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 push it boop, 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 boop. again holy crap This is a good screenshot for what this game's about, I guess. Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> it lives! What the? I. Whoa! <laughs> hey, Angus. How's it going, mate? Good, I didn't die this time. You? Good, good. I'm just gonna lay here for a while, if that's okay. Okay. <laughs> um, guys, this video has been going on a long time. So I think I'm just going to quickly finish this off by having a chat with Dad. Hey, Dad. How's work? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mined, I've ran machines. But now I get to slice steaks and hock salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back that's for sure but like do you like it i like having a paycheck fair paychecks the sweetest meats of all what do you do tonight oh you know stuff tired feel like i just did a day's work you know there are places you can get paid for these days of work oh really yeah they call it working ha huh, you kids with your slang slang you could pick up at work oh yes point made um, what about those boxes I asked about in the crawl space? Hmm, I'm thinking about it. Watch some tea with me? Yeah, for okay, fine. 
Perfect timing. Garbon Mela is starting. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. You know we like to get political here. Gotta do it. Gotta. You hear about this new law on the books? Pirating a movie online, you know about that? I do. Punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Wow, and here I've been trying to get in the hard way. He has, folks. Wonder if pirating a movie about first degree murder earns you more prison respect than one on grand larceny. Hey, Malloy. You know what I think about that law? What, Garbo? That's a wapa. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Coming up next, stupid sandwiches. Amazing. Good night, Dad. I hope you take the boxes away. He probably still didn't. Okay, well, guys, I guess that leaves it, or, you know, that ends it here for now. Um, yeah, I appreciate a like, I appreciate a comment. I would appreciate it more if you guys would tap that sub button. But most of all, as usual, I appreciate you guys mostly just being here and supporting the series. Thanks for coming around, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.